Meet Mia Tang. Her and her mom and dad immigrated from China to find a better life, and now they're managing the Cala Vista Motel in California. While her mom and dad work to clean the rooms, Mia mans the front desk. At first, she's having fun and smoothly handling her duties and customer requests, but pretty soon things get complicated when Mr. Yao, their landlord, turns out not to be very fair, and Mia finds out that upset customers can be hard to handle. To make things worse, at school, it looks like her classmate Lupi could be her first best friend in the states. But it's hard to get close to someone when you don't want anyone finding out that your family is poor and that you work and live at a motel. There are a lot of serious issues Mia faces while she's trying to help her family, including racism. Luckily, she has friends and the regular tenants like Hank and Miss Q to help her figure things out. Most importantly, Mia realizes that her own voice can be a very powerful thing. Find out more by reading Front Desk by Kelly Yang. So at first, I found it kind of hard to believe that a kid would be running the front desk of a motel. But then I read the author's note, and it turns out that this was based on the author's own life that she actually did run the front desk of several motels that her parents managed. What I really appreciated about the book was that the author wasn't shy in addressing very serious social issues such as systematic racism and immigrant workers' rights. I think the best part of the book was watching Mia realize that even though she was still in school, her voice mattered and could make a difference because she does end up writing letters that help the other characters in the book. As for the type of reader, I would say kind of reminds me of a group of students that used to come in the library and they would want everyday stories, not fantasy, that were sad. And I don't think it was necessarily depressing sad, but they wanted to see um, or be challenged by what they read a little bit. So even though this is not a sad book, it is very engaging and it's very, I think uplifting is the right word. It still deals with some serious issues that kind of makes you think a bit. So thanks for watching and happy reading.